What's good, guys? Once again, it's Shabar the Prince bringing you another video on the behalf of Pro ENT Cheat Customs Factory of Figurines 2018. Presenting to you Part 8 Jason, okay? Friday the 13th, Part 8 Jason Takes Manhattan. The figurine is now completed. I will go over the figurine and, um, I will be out and about. So, this is an amazing figurine. This figurine took like um, about two and a half weeks, approximately about three weeks total to create. And I'm glad how it turned out to be. I am satisfied with the results. And like I say, my figurines, they may not be 100% movie accurate, but they're damn near close. And so I would just go over this Jason Takes Manhattan Part 8. Um, as you know, he comes with the iconic machete. As you can see, I don't know if you guys can see it, but he comes with the iconic machete. It can be removed. Let me see. This is the iconic machete with the blood splatter on it. All right, he comes with that. He also comes with the utility fire axe. Okay, you can see the fire axe. Okay, so this is the fire axe with the blood splatter on it. Hope you guys can see that very well. Has the blood splatter on the fire axe. Okay. He comes with the uh, supported strap that holds the fire axe on the side as you can see right here now he did not have this in the movie Jace, uh, Friday the 13th part 8 Jason Takes Manhattan he didn't have this scrap right here in the in the series but however I just throw that in there as an extra just throw that in there and you can just take the fire axe and it just you can it, you can insert it right here on the side of the strap and it just hangs on the side you know it just hangs on the side so this is like the strap for the fire axe you know so yeah all right you can take this off if you will the strap that holds the fire axe he also comes with an additional Masks. This is the alternative mask. Okay. It comes with the additional mask. I will put that on. Alright, so this is the original mask for part eight. The part eight Jason mask was however different from all the other Jason parts. Um because this mask is more circular. Part 8 mask is more oval shaped than all the other from Friday 13 part 3 down to from part 3 to part 7 you will notice the mask shapes differently but when it gets to part 8 the mask is like more oval shaped alright so you can simply remove this you have the gross deep face the hideous deformed face okay part 8 you guys see that? All right. Not a hundred percent movie accurate, but down near close, as you can see. All right. And um, I'm going to I'm going to put the the additional mask on. I'm going to put the the alternative mask on. Okay, so here's the original that I took off. And here's the additional extra mask that I made. You know, just, you know, you don't want to just put the part eight mask on all the time. You can put the additional mask on. I'm going to show you how it looks. All right. Additional mask. All right. Put that on. You don't want the additional mask on. Simply take it off. And um, you don't want a mask on at all. You can just 
display it like this. Unmask part eight, Jason. Okay. Or you can put the original mask back on. And last but not least, he also has the glass shard. But he stabs that woman with. He took that piece of that pe uh, one of the um, kill scenes in part eight. He took that uh, piece of glass and jabbed that woman with it. And that you, you can insert that in his hand as well. Whether you want to insert it in his hand, you can insert it this way. It has the blood splatter on the end of it. Or you can basically insert it upside down like if you wanted him him to come down come down with the glass so basically that's pretty much it a part eight jason um that's the accessories i'll go over the accessories again so you get part eight original mass you get the uh alternative masks so you get two masks, you get uh, blood splatter, glass, shard, blood splatter, iconic machete. Now he did not kill with the machete in part eight, but you still get it because that's his signature weapon. And also you get the uh, utility fire axe with the blood splatter on it. And you get the utility scrap that holds the fire axe up. So, two masks, glass shard, machete, and axe that is blood splatter, plus the uh, utility scrap. You get all of this. Alright, so this figurine will be going up on eBay shortly. And um, he probably would be like. Like I said, no more than a hundred dollars. Okay. It took a while to scope this guy. As you can see in the back, he has highly detailed wrinkle wrinkles in the back of his shirt. Alright. Highly detailed wrinkles in the front of his shirt. The buttons. You see you got the uh the flabby shirt at the bottom. This stuff is flabby. All right, it's weathered real good, painted real good, has that wet, touchy feel to it because part eight was like all slimy and wet, you see? I mean, a great figurine. Articulation, neck rotation, neck rotation, articulation, um, arm rotation, right and left arm rotation, up and down. You know, back and forth, up and down, left, right, however you want to put it. Uh, you can see the triceps, articulation in the tricep, both triceps, articulation in the forearm, articulation in the wrists, articulation in the hand, all of, of both arms, articulation in the uh, torso, He the waist turns, you can turn him, however you would prefer him, you can turn him. Articulation in the uh, knee joints, articulation in that, the knee joints, bends, back and forth, both legs, articulation in the uh, the boots, which rotates 360 degrees. And so this is a well articulated figure. And like I say, uh, guys, that's pretty much the end of this review of Part 8 Jason. And he will be going up on eBay shortly for sale. And he won't be no more than $100. I might come down even lower than that. I don't know yet. It just took me a while. It took me a mighty long time. Like I said, primarily, uh, I'll say like two and a half weeks. Almost three weeks to complete this figure. So you, you got to respect my time and effort that I put into my craft, my work, and that's why my figurines, uh, that's why they be like that, you know what I'm saying, 
people might say, well, why you going to sell it for $20 or so? Well, you got to understand the time and effort that I put into my figurines. And that cost, that's, that's very, very, very valuable. The time that I put into my figurines, you see. And so, like I say, he's not going to be no more than $100. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, yeah, you can't beat it, man. Like I said, glass shard, additional mask, blood splatter machete, blood splatter axe, utility belt. If you want to put the axe in the right, if you want to put the machete in the left arm, the axe in the right, you can do however you please, man. You see? However you want. If you want to put the axe over here, if the machete comes out, you take the axe. You know what I'm saying? If you wanna if you wanna let him hold the neck of the axe, he can hold the neck part of the axe. The neck part can be hold and also the bottom part. So yeah, man. Pretty much it. Part A Jason. We'll be going up on eBay shortly. Pro ENT Customs Factory Figurines. Pro ENT Cheat Customs that is. Friday 13th, Part A, Jason. Thank you for your time. Please like, comment, and subscribe.